Hello and welcome to episode 52 of my Let's Play Curveball Space Program. I am KHM. And before we land our uh, lander on Ike, um, as you can see we have our uh, satellite, or our probe, that uh, we put in orbit around Ike. We're currently focused on it. And we're going to start out by putting it in a geosynchronous orbit. I mean, not geosynchronous orbit, but a uh, polar orbit. Okay, we have ourselves a nice circular polar orbit around Ike, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave the satellite here, and we'll switch over to our ship here. Okay, now I was kind of thinking of bringing this tank down the planet with me since it doesn't have a whole lot of fuel left. But I've been kind of thinking and I think I want to actually leave that there, so... Just the lander. Alright, uh... Oops. Go ahead and detach. Decouple the node. RCS to push us away. Switch out vehicles. On the plus this. Okay. That way it will remain in that position there. Okay, we should have full load. Yep, we do. Cool, cool. All good. Uh, Alright, now where do we want to land? Preferably someplace that's not so hilly. Perhaps up here, or there. Let's go ahead and get our landing autopilot. Land at target. Wait, no, no, stop, 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 whoa. That was the wrong button. Select target on map. What I meant. Around here looks like a good place. Alright, um... Okay, go ahead and land at target. And there goes that ship. Well, since I have uh, uh, Mech Jeb doing the landing, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until we get to just about there. Ah, crap. 
This spot looks exceedingly hilly. Let's see. Surface information. Ah, there's the shadow. Gonna have to be quick on the killer rotation. Kill rotation. Oh, shoot. Let's see, what did we lose? Well, it looks like we still have all of our engines and everything. I suppose we'll probably be fine. Ah, we lost a generator. And we lost an A. Shit. <clears throat> you remember what I said about us being fine? Yeah, no, you can scratch that. We're now completely stranded. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Well, let's see. What are we focused on? Oh, the light there. Uh, we're completely screwed here. <laughs> okay, well, that sucks. Um... I, I guess uh, we're gonna have to send a rescue mission. Okay, well, hmm. Yeah, well, we're here. Hmm. Since we're here, we might as well, you know. Do the one small step for our Kerbin, one large leap for Kerbin kind. Okay, let's go have a look around. Huh, that looks like a much more manageable place to be rescued in. Or from something like that. It looks like it might actually be possible for turbines to get up into orbit with just their jetpacks. Judging from how easily I'm flying around on the surface here. Okay. Well, I'm thinking I might want to take the command module and roll it downhill down there. Although, maybe I should wait for the rescue craft's arrival before I start uh, moving things around.
Ah, I'm starting to run low on jetpack fuel here. So it's time to head back. Okay, resource panel doesn't show a squat. Didn't expect it to, but worth looking into. Part over there. Okay. That sucks. I wasn't expecting uh, this to happen. But I guess it did. Oh well. Hmm. Well, the rescue craft should be fairly simple to build. Just need to modify the air lander here. Um, hmm. All right. Maybe I should uh, map out the place a little bit better. How long have I been recording for? Uh, not nearly an episode's worth. Okay. So... Hmm, I hate to end the episode here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the recording until I have something a little bit more to show. Alright. So you can see we are back here in the vertical assembly building. And, uh... As you may have noticed, I have installed a few new mods. Uh, let's go over them real quick. I uh, just need to 
pull it up because apparently I was stupid enough to close out the list. Uh, there we go. Okay. I've installed Nova Punch Parts Pack, which comes with a whole bunch of parts. I've been avoiding it up until now because I was afraid that all the new parts would just add clutter to these tabs. But I finally decided to just bite the bullet and give it a try. So I've added that. Um, let's see. Oh, I've also added Rods from the God. Or Rod from God mod. Or whatever it's called. Anyway, it gives us these uh, indestructible rods. Um, so Scott Manley used them, and uh, well, I'm not sure if this was the particular mod he used, but it looked kind of fun, so I thought, why not give it a shot? Um, I have also installed the. I'm just gonna call it the. Oi Capsule mod, which comes with a whole bunch of these uh, capsules here of varying sizes that are designed to be uh, both side mount and uh, uh, stack mount. And they come with uh, some interesting couplers. And there's a bunch of different combinations of these tanks. Like you see, this one's just pure liquid fuel, while this one is liquid fuel and oxidizer. And supposedly they have neat little images on them. Let's see. Get a little bit closer here and have a look at the texture on this. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool looking? Anyway. Let's see. What others? Um, okay. And... I apparently have one installed. Okay, no, 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 okay. That's, that's what it was. Modular capsules gives us that. Okay, um... And the last things I've installed are rovers. Because one of the biggest gripes I've had so far about, you know, being on planet is I didn't really, I couldn't really come up with a good way to maneuver. Every rover I tried to make out of, uh, Parts in the game would always inevitably fall apart or blow up or something. So I downloaded uh, uh ah. now suddenly it stopped working. Okay, I downloaded the uh, DEMV. I'm not sure what that stands for, but the Mark One, the Mark Two, and the Mark Five. I'm not sure what happened to the Mark Four, oh, to Mark Three or Four, but. I couldn't find them. So we got these ones. Um, and as you can see, I've uh, mounted uh, one of the Mark V's on the side of our lander here, which uh, has been modified. Um, it's just a modified form of the one we were using before, except this one also has uh, one of those uh, hitchhiker storage containers. So that way we can bring the survivors back home. And uh, with the rover here, even if we have to land a good ways away, we can use the rover to quickly uh, move them over at a higher speed than we could on foot. Although on the uh, planet Ike, or I guess it's whatever, captured asteroid Ike, the gravity is low enough that the uh, jetpacks that they have uh, uh, would probably be sufficient to get them back and forth over a fairly decent distance. But whatever, this is an excuse to try out these rovers. So, I'm gonna have fun with rovers and rods. Um, let's see, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and simply fast forward through the whole process of getting us to, from here to Ike because you guys have already seen that twice and it's probably gonna get really boring if I don't do that and we're close to the end of the episode anyway and I want to be in orbit around Ike 
when I end the episode. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and launch this beastie.
Alright. As you can see, we are now in orbit around, uh... Ike. Yes, that's what this planet is called. Ike. Now, you'll note that it's not a perfectly circular orbit, like I was originally planning to do. And that's because uh, it just kind of occurred to me that, uh... Maybe I can link this up with the other, uh part of the craft that I have in orbit. Um, if I can, then I might be able to salvage what little fuel is remaining in here. If not, I might not be out anything by trying. Um, yeah, anyway, it's just kind of an idea. Uh, I'll need to hash out the details off camera. And, uh, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. So, once again, I am KHM, and we'll rescue our crewmen on Ike in the next episode.